Hi everybody, here's a quick video to help you do the multi-track ADAT project. So the first thing we gotta do is figure out how to plug everything up. So we'll start with the tape outputs uh, on the left side of the back of the Mackie. Uh, you'll plug one through eight in of the tape outputs and then plug those into the RCA inputs on the back of the ADAT machine. Keep in mind your color combinations, uh, the one through eight, how you did on the back. And then likewise, follow that through with the outputs of the RCA from the ADAT into the tape returns of the back of the Mackie on the right side here. And then just go one through eight, keeping in mind the color orientation that you started with. Next thing we gotta do is plug in for our headphone sends. Now we're gonna use AuxN3 this time. And we're gonna talk about that more later. But again, AuxN3 into the line mono input of the headphone amp. And then for your effects, use AuxN1 and plug that into AuxN1 on the Mackie. Into the left mono input of the Lexicon Reverb device. And then stereo returns like we did before uh, into the last two channels on the board. Make sure you hit the mic line switch. Then finish out your routing uh, left right if you're doing your final mix right and then if you're doing a bounce like we do with the drums in class you might want that to be a 7 8 or something else uh, from there we need to plug in our two track like we did before main mix out into the rca inputs of the mini disc recorder this is just for your final mix process and then we need to listen to things as engineers this time a little bit more so you use the control room output and control room monitor control there control room output into the RCA aux input of the monitor control so you can listen to it on the speakers to do your mixing. Monitor station should have speaker A selected and aux so you can listen to what you're doing. One of the big things to keep in mind with this project is this flip switch. When it's up, we hear the mic or line input through the channel like we did before. When it's down, then the tape returns go through the main uh, channel path. You probably want this up for doing initial tracking and overdubs and then down for your final mix or if you're gonna do any bouncing. We're gonna use AuxN3 this time for our headphone mixes so we can take advantage of this source switch. Remember, if the source switch is up, it listens to the channel mic line inputs. If it's down, we listen to mix B or the tape returns. We need to do this so we can do overdubs and punch-ins and things like that. This is the mix B monitor control where we can do level and panning as engineers for our mix coming through the control room speakers. Just remember, mix B is for the tape returns. You do not need to use the split EQ or flip switch source button located in the mix B section. Okay, to send out to the ADAT, remember that you have to assign to the appropriate bus and pan left, right, one, left, right, two, and accordingly. Okay, there's one picture I forgot to take, so I had to call upon my masterful drawing skills here to illustrate how you would bus channels one through eight on the mixer to channels one through eight on the ADAT. Set the faders to unit again, hit the appropriate uh, bus assign buttons, and pan out accordingly. Then the bus output faders are your master control to your ADAT. Okay, the first thing you need to know about the ADAT here is just to record enable tracks. You just press the button of the track number underneath it, and you'll see that it record enables that track. And from there, the other primarily important thing you need to know about the ADAT is the monitoring modes. Now, if you start out, you can put everything in all input, remember? Um, so you're always hearing the input to the track, but more commonly, you'll probably use auto input. So you can do punch-ins and you can hear previously recorded material on the ADAT machine. Okay, so let's record some stuff. You just record, enable some tracks, hit play if you want to, and then to actually drop into recording, you hit both at the same time. You can see we're recording here. If you wanted to punch out, just hit play again and you drop out of record. To set locate points, just hit set locate and the number of your choice at the same time. The last thing we have to do is mix down. So hit the flip switch so the tape returns are fed to your aux sends, your EQ, and your primary faders. Don't forget when you EQ to depress the EQ in button and set your reverb send levels with aux send one, remember. Get the mix the way you want it and assign uh, each channel to the left-right mix to your two-track machine, which you control with your master left-right fader, then record your mix to your mini disc. I know there's a lot of information there. Come see me or email me your questions.